What's up, everybody? Cigar Shipper Laird Mayhew back with another cigar review. Today, I've got the Charter Oak Maduro in Gordo. Stay tuned. I can smoke Stogies in my house, first of all, because her father introduced me to Stogies, and second of all, because I'm a stud. I'm ballsy. I don't take no shit from anyone. I smoke my Stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back to another... Cigar review here at Cigar Sherpa. I, of course, am your host, Laird Mayhew. Uh, if it's your first time here, welcome to the channel. Please hit the subscribe button. Leave us a review or a like, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let us know what you think about it. And again, if it's not your first time and you are a regular visitor, welcome back. Welcome back. We appreciate the support. So like my intro said today, I've got the Charter Oak Maduro. Okay, it's a Gordo size. It's six inches by 60 ring gauge. A little bigger than I normally like them, but I ain't seen this one before. I usually smoke the uh, the Toro. It's about a 54 by five, six and a half, or five and a half of the Robusto, which is like a five by 52. But uh, I saw this one last night when I was at the uh, the lounge in the humidor, and uh, you know I've been wanting to do a review on this cigar because it's one of my favorite cigars. Okay, it's a budget cigar. I call it a budget cigar. It does not belong flavor wise. Construction-wise, it just doesn't belong in the budget cigar world, but it is priced. This one here is the Gordo. is at $6, okay? The the other one, the, the Robusto, the Toro, they're just around $5, north of $5, $5.50. Um, and quick story on that. Uh, it's not that they're cheap cigars, and I don't... I think I heard this right out of Nick Melillo's mouth, Um on the Cigars Daily uh, with Tim Swanson interview, they, he literally just takes a, a, a less of a profit in order to keep that price down. Okay, he's paying homage to his where he's from uh, in Connecticut, which has a long history of, of cigar manufacturing back in the day and tobacco growth. So this was kind of like a, a nod to where he was from. And uh, in order to keep it down in that price range, he takes less profit. And that's an American right there. That's a good American. Uh, we appreciate it. So let's get into it. Uh, it's got, a, of course, it's paying homage to the Connecticut area where he is from. It's got a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Now, this is a very smooth uh, Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Normally, I, I'm a big fan of the, the broadleaf wrapper from Connecticut and the Pennsylvania broadleaf, but speaking on the Connecticut, it's normally very thick and, and, and coarse and veiny and just leathery looking. This one is very milk chocolate. It's very yeah, it's smooth. It's got some veins. Um, a little toothy. Uh, it's got a uh, Indonesian Sumatran binder, which is pretty cool. And then it's got the Nicaraguan fillers, I believe. I saw Esteli, Condega. Could be wrong there. I don't know. It's a Nick Melillo cigar, so you know it's going to be Nicaraguan, uh, you know, predominant. Uh, and on that same note, good. It's got a big double cap. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, and it's got a shaggy foot, which I like. Okay. Um, it smells like, it doesn't smell tip, like typical when I smell a Connecticut Broadleaf. I'm like, well, it smells like a Connecticut Broadleaf. But it smells, it's got like a cocoa smell. Okay. Cocoa and hay. A slight barnyard. It doesn't have that like manure. It's just a cocoa-y hay. Um, pretty understated uh, uh, ring on there. Band, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's just, it's a very good cigar. Now, typically, I don't like to do reviews on my daily cigar so you know it's going to be biased because i love this cigar i smoke it you know daily at least once a day at least five times a week <laughs> okay there's seven days in a week um very value priced very good flavor and i'm going to give this thing a cut and a light and we'll come back in the first third and tell you what i think about it and run down the flavor profile stay tuned All right, all right, all right, because it's got that close shaggy foot, I'm not even going to toast it. I'm just going to light it and let it work its way up onto the, the main shaft of the cigar. But right away, I like that because I can really get a sense of that the flavor of that Connecticut raw leaf, mm. which is very, very smooth, very earthy. And surprisingly lightly peppered okay i was expecting a little bit more up oh, here it comes it's creeping in now in the retro hell okay so 
where was I? This is all right. So when I light this thing up, like I said, I'm not. I didn't toast it. I just light it. I kind of just let the uh, the shaggy foot take over, and it's getting on there. It's lighting up. I did not uh, show you or record it, but I went with the hole punch, my 308 round from Sector Seven Ballistics. You can find him on Facebook, and these things are awesome. It's got a spring loaded tip, and of course, it cuts the perfect size hole. So, anyway. Um, flavors on this thing right away, like I said, they're they're very smooth, earthy flavor. It's peppery. Mm, okay. It, it sweetens up as soon as the uh, the main body of the uh, cigar, the filler, and the binder start burning with the wrapper, it starts to get creamy and sweet, I'm like a cocoa flavor. Yeah. Sweet, earthy, cocoa, pepper. I mean. <laughs> That's a great cigar. Stay tuned, and I'm going to get into the uh, first third of the cigar when I come back. I'm sorry. It's a Saturday. I'm a little off today. All right, all right, all right. We are in the first third of this cigar. We're about 10 minutes in, and it's a very well burning. Like I said, it doesn't burn razor sharp, but then again, whatever. Uh, it doesn't affect the way it smokes. Um, it's burning very slow. It's got a very, very good draw. This thing is... It's like spongy but dense. It's got some weight too. It's not light. It's a very well constructed cigar. I don't know how it's rolled or bunched because I'm not a a cigar rolling guy. But a lot of times, uh, from what I've read and seen other people talk about or heard people talk about, is how uh, Nick Melillo's operation will sometimes bunch it a certain way for that perfect draw. Could be the case here. Anyway, we're here for the flavors. Um, it is. A very very oily silty smoke okay when I say silty I think you know what I mean by that it leaves like this oily silty just texture on the mouth on the finish okay it's sweet and it's earthy it's got cocoa and it's got black pepper those are the order of the day that's what you're gonna get and I can go ahead and tell you that's what it's gonna be all the way through the cigar how do I know because I smoke it every day now sometimes about halfway through I'll pick up hints of caramel Okay, and then sometimes all those flavors will kind of blend together and paired with the black coffee, which is normally what I pair my cigars with during the day. Um, it'll it'll have like a like a good black coffee, not a very oily rich coffee, just a good black coffee tone. We'll see where this one goes. Um, it's like I said, for a five six, this is a six dollar because of the size, but for a five dollar cigar, I mean, you can get a box of these for under a hundred bucks, and to be this complex. This well constructed, it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I imagine there's cigar manufacturers out there that are pissed off that, that Melillo's putting them out, or Foundation is putting them out, quality cigars like this for that price. But if you haven't tried it, you need to go out and, and, and try it right away, especially if you like Maduro's. Now, they do make a Connecticut, too, the Connecticut Shade Wrapper. It's a little light for my taste, but it's the same, it's, it's the same thing. You're going to get a beautifully constructed cigar. Um, and a consistent flavor if you like that flavor profile. But so far, I'm liking this one. I'll be back in the second, third, and I'll let you know where I'm at from there. Stay tuned. All right, all right, all right. We about a, a, a one-fourth of the way through this cigar, and I just wanted to break in here and show you that I'm having a burn issue here. Not very typical of this cigar. Like I said, it's one I smoke a lot, so I can go ahead and tell you, you are going to have to correct the burn more than half of the time. It's just sometimes it burns uneven. It's not because of the, oh, I don't know. I, I'm not going to say oh, it's because it's a $5 cigar. This is not a $5 cigar. It's a cigar that you're getting for $5. But anything handmade is bound to have issues. And I'm reviewing a cigar. And even though it's my daily and it's one of my favorites, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and make it seem, you know, I, I, don't, I don't sell cigars. I don't work for foundation. So, you know, I'm going to let you know. There's a little hole right there. And uh, it's, it's, it's burning from underneath. So I'm going to set this thing down, ash it correct the burn and come back and, and, and tell you what I think about it from there. All right, all right, all right. We are halfway through this stick. And as you can see, we had a change of scenery. You know, it's a Saturday. I got some work to do. I'm going to cruise around my hometown of Fayetteville, North Carolina, pick up some invoices, drop off some quotes today. So you're going to ride along with me. Um, halfway through this, the flavors still consistent. I'm still getting that sweet, earthy cocoa it's taking on a leathery note here halfway through. The pepper's kind of fading, not as strong as it was. I will say that this is full-bodied, okay? Medium strength, 
full body because that earthy flavor that I'm getting is is, is very it's very uh, robust okay um, I will say that I'm not a big fan of this size okay this is the first time I've smoked it in this size uh, normally I smoke it in the Toro or the Robusto and uh, you know I, I I guess I just get a little bit more flavor from the wrapper when it's a little bit uh, thinner I guess would be the, the word for that but it's burning great after I fixed that one little problem I was having uh, it's very smooth okay very smooth earthy cocoa s oily and silty smoke it, it leaves this nice finish on your palate okay uh, you're gonna enjoy it y'all sit back smoke what you're smoking on I'm gonna cruise on down the road and uh, I'll be back in the final third of the cigar and let you know what I think about it stay tuned All right, all right, all right. We are in the final third of this cigar, and let me tell you something. Deep, rich, earthy, sweet cocoa and black coffee tones. This cigar is excellent. And for you guys that are not flavor note guys, tobacco guys, oh, I only score my cigars on good tobacco, will smoke again, won't smoke again. This is definitely going to be on your smoke again and smoke repetitive, repetitively because it is such a smooth, rich bold balance of tobacco flavors very good tobacco uh, very smooth for you flavor nuance guys out there again you're getting that sweet earthy um core okay it's got a very very good black coffee note the black coffee kind of picks up there towards the end uh, medium to full body all the way through i'm going to put it more on the bowl uh on the full side the strength is a medium strength cigar until you get into this last little bit the strength kind of wraps up and uh, I'm just at an hour and 10 minutes on this uh, what was I say is a 6x60 Gordo <laughs> my watch talking to me but uh, you're really gonna enjoy this cigar uh, the pe okay so back to the flavors it has a good black pepper uh, very faint it's on the palate it's in the retro hail it kind of takes a back seat here towards the end and on this size, it's the only first time I've ever experienced with this cigar. It picks up kind of a tang, almost a citrusy tang here towards the end. And I'm not a big fan of that, but it's only in this size, and it's very faint. Okay, uh, the draw has been perfect. The flavor's been consistent. I had that one burn issue. We corrected it, and uh, it's been smooth sailing ever since. So I recommend this cigar. Go out and buy it. It's a great value. I think I paid six dollars for this size. Normally they're about five bucks for the Toro and the Robusto size. Connecticut Broadleaf Wrapper. Hats off again to Nick Melillo. Uh, master blender. Mad genius when it comes to tobacco and cigar blending. I'm trying to think if there's anything else here I need to add. And there is not. So, Cigar Sherpa Laird Mayhew reminding you to be polite to everybody that you meet. But always have a backup plan in case you got to shoot them in the face. And I'm out. <laughs>